This is the front. Okay. Right. Left. This is the inter anterior interventricular artery. On the left side is the circumflex artery. On the right Sorry. side is the marginal artery. Huh? On the back side is the posterior interventricular artery. Okay. Then if we look to the top, on this side is the right atrium. Left atrium. So we're looking at left atrium, right atrium. Vessel furthest forward on the top in the front is the aorta. Next behind that is, oh, I'm sorry, in the front is the pulmonary trunk. Next behind that is the aorta. Then on the right atrium is, runs in the superior and inferior vena cava, right atrium. Right atrium then, you can tell because it's the thin wall. Right atrium is the thin wall. Then from the thin wall you, and the right atrium, you go through the tricuspid valve, the flappy valve, chordae tendine, strings that hold it in place, pulmonary muscles, things that end at the uh, chordae tendine, right ventricle. From the right ventricle, blood leaves the heart through the semi pulmonary, semi lunar valve out of the pulmonary trunk, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk. Blood then goes to the lungs, comes back and returns to the back of the heart, to the left atrium. From the left atrium then, and we can tell the left side because the muscle is much thicker. Remember this middle part is the interventricular septum. This myocardium on the left side is much thicker, and the blood then goes into the left atrium. Through the left atrium, through the bicuspid valve, which also has chordae tendine, which also has papillary muscles. Left ventricle, through the left ventricle, it exits. Through the aorta. And when it's going through the aorta, there are three little flaps of tissue right here called the aortic semilunar valve. Okay? And then there are three layers of tissue there's the epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium. All right? Are we good? Happy. <laughs>